My name is Tahir Karl Karmali. I am from Nairobi City. Born and raised Nairobi. My current project tackles this idea of authenticity and African identity through paper. That's an interesting thing though, Kenyan Indian, Indian Kenyan, um, and that kind of identity. I know that's what I am, but that's not what I see myself as. Like, I see myself as somebody from Nairobi, and like, my work is reflected um, from Nairobi. If somebody in the future was to look back and know that I'm from Nairobi, they'll be like, oh yeah, this was of that time. Oh, this is interesting, actually. I've always been very concept-driven as a person and as an artist. I take my work very seriously. Artists of color are typically asked a lot of questions around their identity, um, where they're from, and also their work should reflect that, or somewhat reflect this idea that questions identity and sort of using my father's family as an example um, to discuss um, ideas around what makes someone African, what makes someone Kenyan, and, uh, and kind of the idea of like paper being a validator of that, and also discussing who gets to make this decision, like who decides who you're, what, like, that you're Kenyan, that you're American, that you're anything else. But also kind of discussing um, another sort of like very prevalent um, reality as an African um, that travels or diaspora, how much paperwork that you need to do to cross borders. So my current installation is made from paper documents about my family. So. I asked my father to scan a lot of documents and send birth certificates from the 1910s and during colonial times and then passports and passport information, passport pages, pattern work, and all this kind of stuff. And so I leave little bits and pieces of, of it and then it's kind of an interesting work. Essentially. You know, I kind of process this, I grind up new sheets of paper. And it's this idea of this process of just like constantly working with this paper, constantly working with its identity and just like churning out different sets of artwork and different pages. I use each page and I hang it in a way that it looks like a, a cliff face. And then I also mix these V sculptures that looks like a really stretched out book made of wire mesh and paper. As I was working through the whole like project um, and making the paper, what's really interesting is I grind this paper and I put it into this big water bath and the whole like practice of making paper is sort of like lifting, um, lifting the pulp out of the water using this wire mesh. And it's so funny because it's sort of like, uh, it's such a metaphor of like the reality of what paper is used for an identity it's to like filter people from one location to the other and like just the process itself kind of speaks to like how paper is used in control like you pull this paper out of the water um using this wire mesh which almost looks like fencing um and then you make a completely different sheet of paper and that you know it's like this idea of filtration <laughs>